Are you guys ready for 2023? Are you prepared for the food shortages that are coming in this coming year? Do you have a stockpile of essential foods ready and waiting for you and your family to use at a moment's notice in case of some type of catastrophic event? If not, then you are at risk of experiencing a crisis in food shortages occurring in your area or even all over the world that can affect us right here in America. Yes, here in America, and it's already begun, and we have to be prepared. Fortunately, it is very, very easy to learn how to prepare for food shortages or any type of a natural disaster or a catastrophic event. And I'm here to help you learn why you need to be doing this and how to do this. That is my whole goal here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Number one question that I get asked through emails, comments, and everything else is, why should I prepare for food shortages? Do you really think they're gonna happen? Look what's going on all across the world right now as I speak. We have extreme flooding events that have been taking place in California just in the recent few days with these, as I call them, the Pineapple Express that keeps coming through in California. You know, they're getting, the mountains are getting doused in feet of snow at a time. The valleys are getting rain, historical rain, rain they've never seen before. Fields are flooded. Wineries are underwater. In the wintertime, just so a lot of you people do know, most of your crops come from California. Lettuce in particular, lettuce has took a huge hit. If you haven't noticed, the price has gone up in the stores. And it's only going to get worse. Florida had one of its coldest Christmases on record. And it really put a hurting on the orange juice crop. The orange farmers, they really took a huge hit. They lost a lot. And it's going to have a huge effect on that industry for months to come, even if not for another year or so, until hopefully the crop can come back. So why should you prepare for food shortages? You should be prepared for food shortages just because of what is taking place in our own country right now. Not to take in count what is taking place in Russia and Ukraine and how that has crippled the world in wheat exports to help out all these other different countries. Gas prices. They're already forecasting that by summertime, gas will be back over $4 a gallon. Now, I know in some parts of the country, it's probably right around that anyways. But for the rest of us, you know, gas has been as low here as I've seen like $2.89. We're back up to $3.35 now, and it's going up. So why should you prepare? Inflation. We have high inflation. I think we're in a recession, personally. You have unemployment rate that's supposed to rise by summer. They're talking over two and a half million people can be without a job. We have all these different companies, as I did do a video on, that are closing stores. That means thousands of people out of a job. That means if maybe you are one of those people, you may not be able to put food on a table, a roof over your head, gas in your car to try to find another job. You may not have insurance. You have to start planning for some of these things now, depending on where you work, depending on what your availability is on saving money. These things all play into why you need to be prepared. 
Food shortages are a real thing and are going to be affecting us for quite some time. We all need to be getting on the ball. I have done a video last week on Thursday and I talked about my $10 a week food challenge. Every Thursday, I'll be posting a video and I'm going to be showing you what you can get for $10. And then at the end of the month, when we've spent $40, I'm going to show you all what you have. These are just some of the things why you need to be prepping and being ready. How to prepare for your food shortages is really simple. If you follow a simple basic plan, you could start putting away food for you and your family and your basic essentials. My $10 a week challenge is just for food, but you also need to be thinking about all the other products that go along with being prepared and having a backup in case something happens. Everything from a toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, laundry detergent, all those different types of things all play into what you have to have. You have to make sure that you are doing your part in being prepared for you and your family. You need to build an emergency kit. Throughout history, we've seen catastrophic events that have occurred. The blizzard of 1978, take that for instance. The weatherman was forecasting snow showers woke up the next morning, you couldn't see the cars. They were completely buried in four to five feet of snow with winds blowing at hurricane force winds. Snow drifts 12, 14 feet high. We have seen those things happen, causing massive power outages. People stranded. People couldn't get out of their homes. You didn't even know where your car was. We just went through another event like this not too long ago. And people were without power and everything else up in the northeast over into buffalo now i know over in buffalo they're pretty much geared for that they're used to that kind of stuff but this was a historical storm and it took a lot of people by surprise people were trying to get out of harm's way people were just trying to get home and got stranded on the roadways and people perished because of that because they weren't prepared they didn't have an emergency kit that they could carry in their car in case of something like this happening where they had maybe some emergency water um, a blanket maybe some emergency food and people perished so having a basic emergency kit that you can grab and go I call it a go bag. This way here, you can just grab it and you can go. You also need to make sure that you're stocking up on all non-perishable items, canned goods, rice, pasta, all these different types of things are just a way for you to secure and make sure that you and your family can survive any catastrophic event, any natural disaster, or any of these things that we know that are going to take place. We've gone through these mega droughts and now things are changing over and we are going through all these huge floods. Maybe it will fill up some of the dried up lakes out west. Maybe it will buy us a little bit more time for the farmers out there because so many little towns and farms and everything else have closed up shop. But to just doing your part and stocking up on non-perishable items. Now the government tells you, and a lot of people on here on YouTube will tell you, you know, you need at least a three day supply. I don't think that's enough. I really don't. I think you should shoot for a two week supply of food. Slowly build it up, take a little extra money and build it up little by little and you'll get there in no time. And having that nice two week food supply as a buffer in case of any type of emergency or loss of job or a sickness in your family can make a world of difference. Being able to put food on the table for you and your family is key. Being able to supply things that your kids may need in a timely manner is key. These things are all something that you all really need to be preparing for. 
So why should you be preparing for food shortages? Because history shows us many, many times over, the Great Depression, the war, World War I, World War II, we had the gas embargo in the 70s, then we had the blizzard of 78, we had the stock market crash in 2008, when the housing market just crumbled. Then we had COVID-19, and that was a whole mess. Maybe you all remember that one. History tells us that these things are going to happen. It is our job to be prepared. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. If you're looking for more information on any of these things that I have talked about, there are a bunch of playlists that you can go into and watch. And I show you exactly how to do a lot of these things. Very simple, very easy. Any of you out there can do it to be prepared for you and your family. So thank you for joining me today on this video. And I hope you all are being prepared. I hope you all are prepared to a point. And if not, Take my $10 a week challenge to start building your preps today. So until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.